What's up friends, today we are going to be taking a look at the range test for the Defiant 1. I originally had this as part of the Defiant Saga and review video, but I decided to split it off to make it a little bit shorter. So, hopefully you enjoy this range test, uh, the little checks that I do, and uh, let me know how much range you got on your Defiant 1, and if I got close to that. Alright, so we're about to do the range test and performance testing on the Defiant board right now. And real quick, I'm just changing the angle of the truck to its lowest, uh, so it's the most stable. I always like to do tighten up trucks, make them the most stable when I'm doing performance testing, especially when I'm doing zero to twenties and uh, 100 meter sprints because I don't want to get speed wobbles. So just tightening this up, and uh, then we'll be off. Alrighty, guys, today we are doing the range test on the Deep Defiant One. Now, it is not a 100% range test because I actually have done some testing on it already, did my performance testing, and I've done 2.7 miles so far um, of sort of hard accelerations, and we're sitting at about 49 volts, which is honestly not that far from fully charged. You can see we're at about like 90%-ish. So we're going to ride this until the battery's dead. Now, when I tried to do the range test on this board the first time, the uh, motor snapped off of the actual uh, gear drive so hopefully we'll have better luck this time that was 21 miles in when that broke so um, the only thing I've done on this so far is range test or sorry is performance testing so braking acceleration 100 meter sprint and now we're doing the range so yeah hopefully it doesn't break and uh, I'll just be updating you guys along the way because I don't really want to record this whole range test. It's going to be long and boring. So I'll just do a clip after each loop. Uh, we are doing my standard testing route, which is about seven miles. I expect to do this about three and a half times. Uh, right now, it shows range left. When I started my performance testing, it said about 28, I think. So uh, we'll see how it goes. 27 watt hours a mile is uh, my current session. And uh, I'm going to reset it right now so we can get an accurate number for the actual range test. But keeping in mind that we did 2.7 miles before, so we'll add that at the end. So I'm going to rest for a couple minutes and then keep on going. Let's take a look at the drivetrain. Motors are getting beat up already. Got some scrapes. No major dents yet. But it seems to be holding up okay so far. Motor temperature, mm, under 60C, not too bad at all, but it's pretty nice, uh, pretty cool out today, so to be expected, but doing well so far. All right, guys, we just finished our second lap. We're up to 13.5 miles, 44.2 volts, and 24.9 watt hours a mile. Not too bad, but my feet are absolutely killing me, especially my ankles. This new deck. Well, it will hopefully be better and not crack. Oh man, all the vibrations and impacts go straight into your feet. And I'm just really feeling it in my ankles right now. Part of uh, urethane on a stiff deck. Not really a great combo in my opinion. Yeah, I forgot to do a drivetrain update. Motors are more beat up. A couple... Pretty large impacts. Temperature still feels good. They sound about the same. But definitely taking some abuse for sure. Alright, we just finished the third lap. Managed to make it through. We're at 20.2 miles, 41.8 volts left. That's pretty dang low. 24.1 watt hours a mile. Pretty decent. And uh, let's do a drivetrain update. With it being so close to the ground, it uh, has gained a little bit more damage on the motors. Scrapes and bangs and all that. Still seems to be running fine though. No signs of catastrophic failure or anything. Definitely getting a bit dirty uh, as expected, but doing well so far. Um, I'm gonna pick up my uh, finishing board which is the Meepo Envy to uh, bring this back to the car when it runs out of battery. It thinks that it has seven miles of range left. 
I really kind of doubt that it's going to make it all the way around, so I don't want to risk it. All right, I think the end is here. We are currently on rolling resistance hill. Hopefully you can hear me okay. We're currently on the hill going down. I'm probably going to regen a little bit of battery here. Uh, we're cruising at under no load at about 39 volts. Under load, we're at like 37. So that's getting pretty low for 12S. And uh, after this downhill, we got to go uphill. And ironically, this is where the Atlas Pro died too, except a lap earlier. So honestly doing pretty well for 12S 5P, but uh, I think this is it. So it's a good thing I brought the spare board. We're gonna see in just a second here. I have no idea what the cutoff values are set at on this. 36.2, pretty low. These four cells, 36 flat. All right, I'm maxed out on the throttle now. 19 miles an hour. Honestly, that's still pretty impressive going up this hill because there's some boards at full throttle that can't do that, so. 35 volts. It's getting a little uncomfortable there. Definitely killing the last bit of our range completely. We might actually make it though, up this hill. Maybe it's all the way down the flat part since it's uh, flat. <laughs> Alright, 35 volts. We're coming back up. Still max out on the throttle right now. And we're crawling into the intersection. Nice. I thought it was going to die there for sure. Alright, guys, the end is finally close. We are maxed out throttle right now on flat ground, going about 10 miles an hour. And we're at 34.8 volts, which is something like 2.9-ish volts per cell, uh, which is pretty low cutoff. It's still got a little bit of room, but we're definitely uh, about to be dead. And I'm still about, I want to say, a mile and a half from my car. So we're probably going to have to pull out the spare board. But maybe we'll make it. We'll see. It's been about two and a half miles almost since it said zero miles of range left. So, I mean, I guess that's good. All right, we are officially at the point where I consider a board dead. Three miles an hour is walking pace on flat ground. And uh, the battery is pretty low, so that's it, boys. 26.4 miles uh, with the last loop having... Uh, the spare board so an ad additional like 20 pounds um, and then we also had the 2.7 miles of performance testing before so I'll do some math I'll put the range estimate on screen uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the watt hours per mile of the the time when I was performance testing and check the difference between that and the average that I've got uh, for this ride and then we will just uh, we'll add a little bit extra to the amount of expected range, but I'll put a log up on the screen. In any case, I am absolutely tired. 26.4 miles is a lot of miles. Uh, honestly, I think that's probably one of my longest Strava tracks. So, not bad. This board has some oomph in it, and uh, you could definitely get even more if you were going slower. Alrighty, just wanted to add some comments here at the end regarding the range. After I adjusted the total range uh, for the performance, it came out to 30.12 miles. That's approximately what I would expect people to get using uh, a similar testing route and similar speeds and similar weight. Your range will vary, of course, but there you go. Here's another interesting graph for you guys. Uh, a lot of you are probably well versed with the fact that a lot of the range estimated numbers in our industry are hilariously inflated and it's getting kind of unacceptable to the point where 
newer companies have to overstate their range in order to be competitive with other companies who are also overstating their range. We've seen this in lots of different industries like flashlights, lasers, all different kinds of consumer products. The best I can do for you guys is test the products in an equal way and present you the numbers. So hopefully you found this range test useful and uh, be sure to leave a like if you liked it and uh, be sure to check out the full Defiant story. That will be coming soon up on the channel, so get subscribed for that and uh, let me know what range you got on your Defiant down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe, keep on riding, and peace out.